right, this is Jen. And this is Joe. And we're Jen and Joe on, on the, the go. go. And we are in Animal Kingdom. We finally made it. Finally. I know I keep on just sighing because I just can't believe that certain things actually happen to us because life is what it is and we're constantly on the go. There's always something going on. Always. But we're here. So we are finally in the Kingdom of Animals. I and know look who we have with us. Say hi, Gia. Say hi. 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 Oh, look, there's a little bird. Hi, bird. All right, our first little exposure of wild animals in the kingdom of animals. All right, so, Gia, you having fun yet? Yeah. So we are on our way. Our first stop is Satuli Canteen. We're all really hungry. And then we have some fast passes. So we'll check, with you, check in with you guys later. Okay, bye. 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 We had a sighting. We had a sighting of the very rare and deceptive big bird. And I'm talking about the big yellow bird from Sesame Street. But I'm talking about this guy over here. Actually, this girl over here. So what do you think of Kevin? Oh my God, she's the cutest bird ever. I'm not sure how much of the audio came through on that because it was kind of loud around, but you got to have a, what did you say to her? I asked her, um, I told her first that she was the most beautiful bird in the world. And then I said, where are your babies? And her trainer told me that they're in the nest because there's too many people. And I said, does that make you nervous? And Kevin went, Baka! which meant, yes, she's very nervous to have her babies out in public. Very nice. Very cool. Thanks. I'm glad we got to meet her finally. Thanks. Did you get to see Kevin too? What did you think? Was she big or little? She was. She is this like She was. She's like a giant bird, huh? Yeah. All right. You want to go eat? Okay. Let's go. For some food. Okay. So we're at Satuli Canteen and Joe and I are sharing the adult cheeseburger pods with house-made chips, slaw, with some kind of boba balls. I'm not sure what they are. Then we did get the blueberry lemon mousse dessert because this is fabulous. And Gia got the kids quesadillas with homemade chips, grapes, and apple juice. No, not the lot. Yeah, you want to eat that, don't you? Do you want to taste it? Yeah. Okay, here, I'll give you a little bite. Oh. You'll like it, trust me. Do you want another bite? <laughs> so tell our fans, what do you think of the blueberry lemon mousse? Is it thumbs up or thumbs down? Good job. You, this is a piece of candy. Do you want to eat it? Yeah? Here, pop it in your mouth. It's like a marshmallow. What other kind of snacks do you want to get when we're in Disney World? Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. The lemon. You want to taste lemon? All right, ready? Mm. Is that delicious? Lick your lips. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to eat our lunch now because we have a fast pass to get to after this. Here we are. We just got done eating at Santuli Canteen. It was so good. So tell them what we got. Well, I showed them. We had the cheeseburger. Fries, oh yeah, that's right. 
Um, and it's just like a McDonald's cheeseburger. So if you love McDonald's cheeseburgers, you're gonna love the cheeseburger pods. Homemade chips, fantastic. The blueberry lemon um, mousse. It's honestly one of my favorite desserts on property. So that blueberry lemon mousse, the blueberry part kind of has a consistency of cheesecake and tastes a bit like cheesecake with a slight fruity taste. And then the lemon part on top is more of a custard with a lemony, citrusy kind of taste. Um, so you had the cheeseburger pods and then we had the slaw um, that came with it. And the slaw had a very uh, sweet citrusy taste. There the, the bubble balls were in there with it, which added to the uh, sweet citrusy flavor. Mm -hmm. um, very crisp. Uh, fresh. Very, it, did, it did taste very fresh. And it, there was the kind of the, not the sauce or the glaze, just the dressing? Yeah, dressing. The dressing. There's the dressing that's on it. Yeah, the sauce, the glaze, what is it called? Dressing. Ugh. Um, the dressing was not too heavy, so there was the right amount of dressing. Um, the carrots and the cabbage tasted very crisp, and it was a sweet kind of dressing with the bubble walls. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> okay, so on a scale of one to 10, what would you give your first meal of this Disney trip? Do we have to do scales? How about a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Thumbs up. G already gave it a thumbs up. She liked it. Did you like it, G? Yes? Thumbs up. You're so awesome. So, yeah. So it was pretty good. I mean, it was light, but it was good. The cheeseburger pods themselves, definitely, yeah, if you like McDonald's cheeseburgers, that's what it tastes like. But um, the outside of it is kind of a doughy type of pod. <laughs> You can tell that we don't review foods often. We need to. So again, this is a learning process and we will get better. We need to work on our review. But now it's time to go get a rum night blossom. Because we interrupt this regularly scheduled program with a special report from the, the Disney, Disney Drinkers. drinkers. Dun, 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 dun. dun. Dun, dun. This is the Rum Blossom at Animal Kingdom's Kangu Kangu. So let's taste it, Joe. There is a good chance that I could get eaten. And I have a really big issue with getting eaten. I don't want to get eaten. Nobody's going to get eaten. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's so good. So what does it taste like? Yes, never happened before. I have a gluing reputation. A slushy rum drink. So that is test number two complete. Let's set up for number three. Uh, uh, wait, uh, hold on just a second. You like it? Good? Alright, I'm gonna try it now. Okay. Alright, here we are. I'm finally able to sit and review this drink. I've had a little bit of it already. Alright, so this is the rum blossom. The rum blossom. And I have to say, it's very sweet and fruity. There's some bubble balls in it. So, again, if you're not used to the bubble balls, these kind of sunk down to the bottom. But the bubble balls are uh, interesting kind of consistency. They're smooth and then you bite into them and they have a little bit of a pop. And um, the inside, what would you say the inside of the bubble balls are? Just kind of like a liquidy, sweet liquidy? Like a sweet liquidy? Like mango. Mango? All right, so kind of a liquidy mango type flavor. Um, no, in your mouth. So all of this is really fruity, um, but when you add the rum, that much better. So yeah, so far, I like it. It's good, no complaints. It's nice and refreshing after um, a lunch. So I don't know if a lot of you know this, but in Pandora, there are places where you can stick your hands. There are holes that you stick your hands into and you can hear the banshees singing. And we found one, so listen. really do exist and you can put your hand in a hole at Disney's Animal Kingdom. There's Jen trying to do a selfie in front of the Lion King wall. Do you need some help Jen?
here. There's a 21 string. It's made out of gold, cow skin, and fishing line. 